Alrighty, let's get started here. Picking up at one month, one day, about 6,800 zombies killed. And my weight's going down. I have to solve that before I get underweight. But yeah, it's been a while since I posted my last video because I uh, picked up Valheim. I've been playing a lot of Valheim. But I think I got it out of my system. And I'm ready to get back to Project Zomboid. Because Project Zomboid always calls you back. Alright, so. Picking up here, and the problems are basically the same as last time. My survivors are all starving to death. I'm starving to death. Damien is. Uh, so we're gonna go fishing. Again. And it seems that that's gonna be what we do every day. Uh, until our crops come in. Start getting some cabbages. Hopefully the cabbages help. Uh, let's take this walkie-talkie with me. See if it'll warn me about imminent helicopters. And let's get going here. And got all my guys hanging out in the food area, whining about their food. And you know, let's take a saw. Grab those door hinges. I think I'm gonna make a door on those docks that I fish off of. Just make it a little bit safer. So we'll take the fish mobile. New name for this Corvette. Appropriate use of a Corvette in the zombie apocalypse. Just packing it full of fish, having it stink of fish snacks. I lowered the car's volume a little bit, but it's still pretty loud. zombies. Make sure they don't come up and bite me in the ass while I'm fishing. So open up some boxes of ammo. Let's get it done. I need the magazine for it. I still only have this one magazine. But, that's enough. Make sure the gun's fully loaded. few in the area followed the sound of the car. Easily dispatched. Got another one over here. Several more. Let's get this guy too. I'm gonna have to clear this road at some point. It came in behind me. Didn't see that coming. Nope. Jammed on the last bullet, too. Let's get the reloads in. Should be it. Well, looking pretty clear. Kind of hard to tell with the fog. Seems alright though. Alright. Well, let's get to the fishing. Just all day, every day, fishing. Well, this does tell me something about when I run a multiplayer server, I may just start as a fisherman. 
<laughs> Go build a shack by the river. Be the fish peddler. Because food seems to be a real problem when you got multiple people eating. Single player, it's not a problem at all. Like, you find way more food than you could ever use. But if you got a bunch of people on a server, apparently it's a problem. So, good to know. Let's, let's cut down some of these trees. Let's cut one of the shorter ones. I'm gonna build a gate on that dock. Hey, you're friends. Yeah, it takes forever to cut these things down. Yeah, we got a friend. Oh, man. Somebody was having a bad time on the other side of the river. Back to what we're doing. Let's saw these logs up. And this is just going to be a temporary thing. I may build like an actual fishing shack at some point, but not while my survivors are all starving and leaving the group. So let's get a wall up here. And a door frame. Right, and is that all the planks? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, that's why we cut down two trees. Right, we'll use the saw. A trick I learned from Nomis. Doing the saw logs from inside your inventory gets you to pick up the planks instead of putting them on the ground. Tiny little time saving thing. Right, let's put a door on this beast. And a level 3 wall. There. So now when I'm out here fishing, I. A little bit safer to fast forward. Here, let's put this stuff away so I'm not overweight. And let's see what we got. Uh, I might be able, only be able to pull one fish out there. The fishing abundance is pretty low. But I don't have any bait. I forgot to grab worms. Let's grab some worms. And crickets, too. My foraging isn't high enough that animals will give me frogs. Because I don't think you can use frogs as bait. I actually don't know. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of things. Got foraging level 4. Find the advanced book. I don't think I have the advanced book. And let's try to catch this last fish. It's back to 100%. Alright, so we'll cut back once I'm done. See if I broke any records. Alright, so we got a decent haul. It's 1320. Let's see if I broke any of my fishing records. Because I do put them in here. A big pike. 113 centimeters. I don't even have pike in here. Oh, let's write it down. And the rest of them are just small ones. That's a big boy. 110 hunger. Good fish. So let's chop all these up. Let's see what we get 
definitely might. Bunch of shoes and socks, which is always disappointing. All right, well, I guess we'll keep going here. I'm getting thirsty, but I don't have any way to get more water right now, so I just have to tough it out. So let's walk down the shore a little bit here and see what we can catch again come back when I'm done all right this is a fair bit later 1710 deathly thirsty but let's see what we got as far as the fish go so we got a big bass yeah that one broke a record by two centimeters Everything else is small. So let's slice them up. And I'm gonna cook the fish here so my survivors don't steal it all out of the grill while it's cooking. Like a bunch of idiots. And the nice thing about those socks that you pull out of the water is you can use them to light, light fires. And you know, I'll keep the lighter here. A little bit of rearranging while I'm waiting. All right, let's get these cooked. Yeah, two of them are gonna get a real good fillet. 55 hunger fillet. All right, let's put out the fire. I guess we got some cooking XP. Okay, eat it. Uh, I'd have to pick it up in order to eat it. All right, well, throw the backpack, and let's head back to base. survivors have wandered off searching the surrounding area for food so we don't have any but we can solve that all right guys fish is here everybody come and get it yeah 27 fish fillets Hopefully this will last them more than a day. And I'll eat a little bit myself. Alright. I'm dying of thirst, so let's fix that. Ah. Much better. Let's go see what my survivors are up to. I saw a couple of them over here. I might need to wrangle them. And there's Kirsty. Bandaging. Oh man, did she cut herself up again? Yeah. Uh, well, this is probably going to be a long process, so we'll cut back to when I'm done. It's 1820. 
And sure enough, it took about an hour. Dealing with these guys. Getting them patched up can be a real pain sometimes. So let's get ourselves organized here again. What? And I got a magnum off of Kirsty. She was holding on to one, apparently. So I will put that with our weapons. Let's get these medical supplies stowed away. My rare unicorn needle. <laughs> I had to search the entire damn town to find. Okay, we got a battery in here. I need a new battery in my radio. And let's get this thread just in case. So we'll use thread to stitch up wounds. It's probably important. Right, let's get this walkie-talkie out, get the new battery in it. Because I haven't actually been listening to it. I've been carrying it around, but not using it like a dumbass. So if there was a warning about the helicopter, who knows? I don't know. I haven't been listening. Alright, so first things first. Place the battery. Uh, oh, <laughs> looking at my bag. Derp. And so let's take this one out. Put the fresh one in. Cool. And let's put this back on the table. I guess you can't place things if you're holding them. There we go. Alright, let's turn this thing on. See if we get any early warnings or anything like that. Let's throw this battery away. My kitchen is a sorry mess. I really need to get this place organized. Um, I should have this water bottle with me. Let's make ourselves some food. Getting hungry. I do have my own personal stash of food up here, separate from my survivors, because they will just ravenously eat it all. Pineapple. Rotten pineapple. And some beans. You know, we'll make a beans. Make some beans, we'll make some roast. And it looks like we're getting a broadcast. Uh, just a weather report. Mild wind from the north. Clear skies. Periodical cloudy spells. Tomorrow, it'll be nice. Mild wind from the north. Periodical cloud spell. cloudy spells. Alright, let's make some honey and meat roast. We'll use our chili and roast beef. Always reliable salt and pepper. There we go. Okay, this stuff up. And while I'm doing that, let's get organized here again. Constant battle in this game, keeping organized. Let's throw this stuff in the trash. Need. Oh, rotten pineapple too. Can't forget that. And we'll do the fancy delete items. Just get rid of them completely. I don't need those. Oh, goodbye. And maybe I'll grab a few containers for up here. Go over to the apartment next door. 
beans. So those are cooked. And let's just eat them all right now because I'm hungry. Need to get my weight up. Although I think beans will make you lose weight if you eat just beans. Gotta get some meat. And let's see how our cooking bonus is doing. 49 to 63 hunger. It's not bad. Oh, and can't forget to turn the oven off. Don't want it to explode and burn this whole place down. Alright, what next? It is 2050, so it's kind of dangerous to be out. Uh, I got all this stuff in my personal fridge. I want to get rid of this fridge. It's using up too much electricity. Still, so, let's take it. Kirsty's finally finding her way back. Fucking idiot. I think you're going to be going on the front line, Kirsty. Yeah, the smarts of a marine. be a story for another day. Let's see how much of this fish they've eaten already. God, half, more than half of it. There's ten left. Oh man. I'm gonna put these meat burgers in here because I don't want to eat them. I made those early in the game and they had a huge unhappiness bonus. Or malice, I guess you would call it. So we'll take that fridge too. We'll throw it over in the fridge graveyard. Stuart. Stuart's walking around with no pants on. What's he doing? Put your pants on, Stuart. <laughs> They're like children, I swear. Alright, fridges for the fridge graveyard. This is outside the range of my generator. Alright, you know what? I do need some wood. I think we're out of wood. So we're gonna tell these guys to chop some wood. But yeah, nothing too excited plan to uh, nothing too exciting planned for the rest of today. Just getting these things marked, get these guys chopping wood. Might grab a couple containers for my kitchen. Uh, so I think I'm gonna cut here and we'll come back later when there's more going on. Uh, yep, it is much later. And about 2310 and Damien is exhausted. Long day of work. Let's see if I got my advanced fishing or advanced foraging. No, I don't. So let's just go to bed. It's about that time. We'll have a special two-day episode for you today, brought to you by Axe for You. Yay! But now, yesterday was just kind of boring. All I did was fish. <laughs> and you know what? That's my plans for today. <laughs> my sur the survivors ate all the fish again. It's all gone, <laughs> just instantly. Oh man. Well, waking up here, and that is our plan once again for another day. Let's go fishing. You know what? I'm not going to bring that thing with me. It hasn't been that helpful. Although last night, I think I caught a little bit of a broadcast saying a suspicious activity. I'm not sure if that means helicopter or not, but maybe it does. We'll find out. Anyway. Let's go fishing again. Looks like those cabbages are starting to almost get there. Cannot wait.
Oh crap. It's 7.30. I didn't look at what time it was. Oh shit. Good thing I'm in a Corvette. Up here and maybe gun them down. Let's get the gun out. Should be able to catch them before they get to us. Yeah, there's one. There's two. I think there was three down here. Oh man, I really should have looked at what time it was. I didn't realize I woke up early. Very carefully. Shoot these zombies. Alright. Well, what can I do to kill a little bit of time here? Uh, I brought this saucepan with me. So I can boil water. I have that dying of thirst problem I did before. Let's drop this other stuff. To use exclusively for fishing. I'll keep that line because I'm gonna use it. Still got the spiffle bag. Alright, well. Let's stay out here for a bit. And nope, I can't. Fishing abundance is zero. Alright, well, we're gonna have to do it the more dangerous way, I guess. Yeah, you know, I can't live in fear. I have to, gotta get out there and do things. Who cares if the zombies are sprinters? I have a ton of ammo. I got a machete. What could go wrong? So let's walk along the bank here a little bit, make sure it's safe. Can I fish here? No. I don't see any zombies. Can't forage here, I guess this isn't a foraging zone. But that's something I could do that's kind of quiet. Forage up some worms, get some crickets, and some fish bait. So I think it's back over here that has the foraging zones. Let's just make sure we're not going to get our faces eaten, such as by that one. Didn't attract any out of that clump of trees. It's 8 10. We don't have too much longer. So we gotta be careful. Alright, well, let's forage. Very carefully. Seems pretty safe around here. some good fish bait. This is actually how you fish along rivers in real life too. It's best to forage bait from the banks so that it's like the things that the fish eat in their natural habitat. Alright, it's 8.50, soon to be 9 o'clock, so I think we're going to be safe to fish. So, once again, step back and see if we broke any records. We've got a pretty good haul here. A lot of big fish. I think fishing level 4 is really making a difference. I got to level 4 yesterday or today. I forget. So let's see what we got. Bass. Crappies? Are they even in here? I don't got a 
Broke one. Nice, nice. Alright. Let's uh, slice this up and do some more fishing. Now 13.40, been fishing all morning. Got 22 fish fillets of varying quantity, or varying quality. Some more shoes and socks, although less now that we have level four fishing, which is nice. And let's eat some food. Because Damien is hungry. I'm pretty sure my weight is still going down. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more. You know, eat some more fatty foods or something. And, yeah, you can't fish there. Oh, there's zombies in here. I'm gonna keep going down this bank, but it looks like we got some friends here too. Yeah, four. At least. Some more over there. Right, let's get this other bag reloaded. And there's one in the woods there. Don't want him getting away. He's gonna be fishing in the area. It could come right up on me. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's one. Can't hit her through the trees. Hmm. She's got too good cover. <laughs> nope, and there's more in here too. There. Whoa. Quite a few in these trees, apparently. Is that it? Oh, there's one. Alright, that's hopefully it. Let's go back to where we're going to be fishing and take a quick look around. Uh, not here. Uh, here. There we go. Alright, let's just take one last look to be sure. Looks pretty safe. Alright, well, let's get fishing again. And once again, I'll cut back when I'm done, see if we broke any records. Yep, didn't break any records, but we got a decent haul here. Decent amount of fish. Hopefully this will last <laughs> some amount of time. More than one day. We can hope. Let's see, that'll give us 38 fish fillets. Hopefully that'll be enough. Alright, so let's this with some more socks that we fished out of the river, river here. I'll keep this lighter. Looks pretty safe. 1610. Cook these up. Oh, 
Once again, fishing for my dinner. Not even my dinner, my survivor's dinner. I think I might have to get some of those guys killed soon. Don't tell them that though. <laughs> Get rid of some of the dead weight. Alright, let's stuff the fish mobile full of fish. Oh, I got crates in here I completely forgot about. Get this Corvette all nice and stinking of cooked fish. Throw that on the seat. Yeah, it won't even all fit. We'll throw some in the glove box too. <laughs> Let's get some more fish bait, actually. Because I could still get more fish. So I think we shall. Oh, fuck. It's the helicopter, shit. Oh man, it's late too, it's 1710. Hmm, this might be bad, guys. Well, I think we got the fish mobile. Let's get going. Oh, fuck. Not good. It's gonna be drawing all of them right to my fishing spot. Thankfully, the north end here is kinda clear. No, not that clear, though. Look at all these guys. Should we hang around here? Let's hang around here a bit. Seems like a good spot. Maybe I can shoot some. Take this opportunity to kill some zombies? Why not? Let's do it. Some may call it a reckless risk. I call it prudent use of the helicopter. Seem to have gotten away relatively scot free. That's one helicopter pass. We could take this opportunity to clean up the north end a little bit here. Yep. We got friends staggering out of the woods. I hear some around me, but I don't. Don't see him. Yeah, they're all coming through those trees. Maybe this isn't such a good spot. Oh, come on. Oh, I produced a crawler. Man. Yeah, now they're all coming. Oh, God. Coming from all directions. Getting surrounded. Damien's holding his ground. Yeah, I don't like how they're all staggering into those trees. Uh, here comes the helicopter on another pass. It's 1750. Hopefully this doesn't go on too long. And I think we might have to get out of here. Yeah, I think there might be too many for this wimpy little pistol. If I had a full auto machine gun, that would be a whole different story, but I was not prepared. Should 
should have been listening to the radio. So I'm pretty sure it did warn me. It said something about suspicious activity. That might mean helicopter. It said that yesterday. Having a day's advance notice would be good. Yeah, and this pistol is starting to jam more and more frequently because I've been using it so much. Alright, helicopter seems to be leaving. So that's its second pass. on ammo still. Let's not get too far from the car. In case we gotta hop in and escape. Apparently, how are we, how are we doing on ammo? Uh, it is one month, two days, so you know, we have some time here. Let's actually mark down this helicopter. One month, two days. And we should have enough data points now that maybe we can start to draw a pattern of how often the helicopter comes. Find out. 1820. Hopefully it's only two passes for the, the helicopter. This might get hairy. Quite a few over here. Oh, here comes the helicopter again. Third pass. I should get over to the car. Yeah, I can keep shooting. How are we doing on ammo? Shoot the rest of this ammo and then peace out. That was a waste of bullets. Yeah, they're surrounding my car. is clear. There's quite a few. Oh, crap. But, you know, every zombie killed is one less zombie in the world. One less we gotta deal with later. Is it shot all our thirty eight rounds? So that gun is done. So now we only have the machete. Wow, 
That's quite a group. Well, we can sit peacefully. See if the helicopter comes back. Let's get our other water bottle out. Glad I grabbed the spare. Yeah, we seem to... Well, we do run out of water very fast because we have high thirst. Damien has high thirst. Uh, what else we got? I guess we could eat something. It's 1900. Only got an hour left until sundown. So let's get moving. Uh, no, helicopter's coming back for a fourth pass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm, what to do? I guess we should head to the other side of town. Get away from base. Don't draw them into that area. Let's go this way. I don't want to go to the highway. Mm, 1920. Uh, I want to get to a less populated area, I guess, in case this goes after sundown. Oh, there's the truck. <laughs> Forgot it was there. I'll have to come back and get that later. Let's go over to where my old base was. That place should be pretty clear. Relatively clear. Went over this crawler. Nineteen thirty. we can hang around here and sleep here tonight since I got the place barricaded up. There's, there's a decent amount of them around here still. I guess let's park here. I only got the machete. Maybe you know, I got half an hour. Maybe I can get over there and kill the zombies before sundown in case the helicopter comes back. Because it could come five times. And this was the fourth. So if it comes again, it's going to come after sundown. Which is concerning. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get over there and fight. I don't want to be on foot if they're sprinting. If they're sprinters, I want to be right near my Corvette. Are they coming this way? Yeah, there's a few over there. At least one. Well, maybe I can... Do this sneakily, quickly, efficiently. We got ten minutes. I'm not gonna be fucking around here on foot. Oh, and here comes the helicopter. Oh god, it's the worst case scenario, guys. <laughs> helicopter coming after sundown. Oh boy. Well, I'm glad I have this Corvette. Fuck. I guess we can't stay here tonight. It's gonna get overrun. Oh boy. Alright, well let's wait. See how many we actually get. 
Here we go, 20 hundred. Let's see what we get. Nothing so far. I'm ready. I kind of regret wasting using all of my ammo now. I really wish I had pistol ammo on me. Oh boy. Nothing yet. Not from that direction. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, no, here comes one. Um, does she have any friends? Let's run her over with the car. Oh, there's more coming. Two more. We could run them over with a car. That's fine. Uh, no, four. All right, the helicopter left. Can I run them all over with a car? I don't know if I have enough car durability for that. Uh, there's quite a few coming. Let's Mad Max out of here. I think I'm gonna have to try to get to base. Let's slow down here a bit. Let's see if the helicopter comes back. So I don't want to be at base if it it comes back. <laughs> All the zombies are sprinters. All right, 20, 30. I think by 2040, if it hasn't come, we'll be good. All right, it hasn't come yet. I don't think it's gonna come again. All right, time for some Fury Road. Let's see how fast we can get back to base. without crashing. So I can easily outrun these guys in a Corvette. I can leave them in the dust to get right past them. Straight shot. I think we made it. Getting into our safe zone here. Oh, just a minor crash. Whew. Well, that was stressful. made it. Hey guys, don't worry about me. Just, you know, fighting off hundreds of zombies in a helicopter, in a Corvette. But I got fish. So yeah, they're all going to look for food. They're all hungry. They already ate all of the fish from yesterday. Hopefully this fish will last them a little bit longer. Hey guys, hope you aren't tired of fish yet, because that is all we got to eat for days now. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. What a day. Alright. Well, let's make sure that these guys are all in my group still. I'm gonna... I think relax and get my heart rate under control again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just fuck around base, do, do a few things I need to do. 
So I will catch you guys next time for another day in World War Z. Peace.